In the last lesson, we learned how to prove that two triangles are similar. In this lesson, they are going to give you two triangles that are already similar, and you need to try find certain sides in the triangle. So they tell us here that these two triangles are similar. So we can see that that would be PQ goes with DE, EF goes with QR, and DF goes with PR. So my advice to you would to always be do, to do the following. Uh, just write out the order. So triangle PQR would be similar. So PQ goes with DE, right? Can you see that? So I'm going to put DE first. And then obviously the last letter would be F. It's very important that you do get this order correct. So the first triangle, I just chose PQR. And then you must make sure that these letters go in the correct order. Because what did we learn in the previous lesson? We learned that if two triangles are similar, then it means that this one, PQ, over this one, would always equal a certain number. And that number would have to be the same as, for example, this one over this one. And that number, whatever it is, would have to be the same as these two over these two. So PR over DF. Okay, we know that those must be the same. Here's just a flashback to one of our last lessons. Um, we know that when you divide them, you get a quarter. Then when you divide these two, you get a quarter. And when you divide these two, you get a quarter. So what it means is that these three things are all the same. And so that's what I've just written out of here. I've said that they are all the same. That's the difficult part. Now all that we need to do is fill everything in. So PQ is 9, DE is 3, QR is 9, EF is 3, and PR is 6, and DF we don't know. So now what you do is you just try find Y. So you only need to choose two things at a time. So we could, for example, choose these two over here. So if you just look at this ratio over here, you can see that 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we could say 6 over Y should equal 3 over 1. Now we can see that to go this way, you'd have to multiply by 2. So to go this way, you'd also multiply by 2. And so this means that Y has a value of 2. Moving on to the next one. Here they've given us the two triangles, and they've told us that the two triangles are similar. So what I would do straight away is I would form my three ratios. So that would be PQ over TS. That should always be equal to QR over SR. And I'm just going to add the other one in the front, just to save a bit of space. That would be PR over TR. So PR over TR. Now your reason for this, I should have actually given a reason up here. When I wrote these out, there is a reason for that. It's because the triangles are similar, but specifically you would say that the corresponding sides are in proportion. Why can we say that? Because these two triangles are already similar. Now what you do is you just go full information in. So PR, we don't know what that is, so we just leave it. TR, we don't know what that is, so we just leave it out. PQ is 16. TS is 10. QR is X. And SR is 15. There we go. So now we don't have to even use this one. So we just use these two over here. And so 16 over 10, if you type that in on the calculator, it will be 8 over 5. And so now we can see that the ratio to go from there to there, you would times by 3. And so to go from there to there, you also times by 3. And so x would be 24. And then here's the last one. So they've told you that the two triangles are similar. So you write out the ratios first. And so you say db over xy would be the same as bz over yz and that would have to be the same as dz over xz dz over xz now you must give a reason that's because the corresponding sides are in proportion 
Now you just go fill everything in. So DB is a Y, XY is 12, BZ is X, and YZ is 9. DZ is 10, and XZ is 15. Now to find X, for example, you wouldn't choose these two because there's a X and a Y. You don't want to do that. You can't solve it if there's a X and a Y. So let's use these two. Okay, so that'll be X over 9 equals to 10 over 15. I would type this on my calculator so it would simplify. So it would be X over 9 is now equal to 2 over 3. I would now look at the ratio. So to go from there to there, you multiply by 3. And so we do the same there. And so X is 6. I would then, to find Y, I would use this one and maybe this one over here. You could even use this one if you wanted to because we now have X, but I'm going to use the Y over 12 equals to 10 over 15. I would simplify this, and so that's Y over 12 equals to 2 over 3. I would then see the ratio here is times by 4, so I would times by 4, and so Y would be 8. And so there we have it. We've solved for x and we've solved for y.